Katie, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So let's start off. Are, are there common questions that couples come to you with when they're considering the web barn? What are some common questions that couples have for you? Okay, well, one of the biggest ones, obviously, is capacity, and um, we, we have a capacity of 135, but we also have the option of people setting up a large tent outside. So if you have a larger number, we eat under the tent, and then everyone comes inside the barn for dancing. So we can accommodate bigger groups if necessary. They want to know if they can have their ceremony here. And we really have spectacular grounds, beautiful gardens, trees, and there are several really nice locations. So we let you kind of choose the spot that appeals to you the most on the grounds here. We have basically three main sites that people like the best. You can adapt to wherever space you like the most. We have a spectacular garden with a beautiful white arch. So a lot of people stand in front of the arch and have the flowers right behind them and do their ceremony there. That having measured the length of the aisle, I know it's about 60 feet from the barn doors to that spot. We also have a spectacular tree. It's called a honey locust tree and it's old and it's kind of, you know, very visual picturesque and so people like the tree and there's two options with the tree one is to stand so that the tree and the garden are behind you which is great in the summer mm -hmm. but the other is to stand with the tree and the barn behind you so if it's fall and you're really not having much in the garden at that point you still have that nice backdrop for yourself so, um, i've had people get married on the patio with the barn itself behind them as well so there's there's a lot of options that people can choose to have their ceremony on the site here you know, they, they want to know about the barn itself. So the barn was built in the early 1800s. So this is an actual barn and not just a building that's built to look like a barn. I mean, it was used as a, on a functioning farm at one point. Mm -hmm. um, part of it was expanded in the early 1900s, but they used an old barn to build it. So it's really all old, original wood here in the barn. Oh, amazing. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. And, and the nice thing about it, too, for uh, having a ceremony services and, and the reception services together makes it s super simple and then a, a simple flow, too, from that ceremony right into cocktail hour. Right. We have a beautiful patio out on the front, so people often hold their cocktail hour outside on the patio, which is really nice. And then, you know, come in for dinner and dancing as well. Another nice thing about the barn is that we really give people flexibility in decorating. The lights that you see behind me are always here, so they don't have to put those up and there's no charge for using them. And then we have wires hung above the, above the floor so you can hang Chinese lanterns or things like that. And if you have other decorations, we just ask that you don't put any nails or staples, but there's some here already. So you just work on the ones that are already there. So we, we really like people to be able to make it their own space. It really is an original old barn. Yeah. Um, we're in a beautiful, beautiful community, so people are often really impressed before they even actually get to the barn at the, um, you know, the historic community that we're in. We also offer an add-on option to tour one of the museum houses, so your guests could do like an open house, mm -hmm. walk through with staff there to answer questions for them as well. So that's something you don't get at every location. I'm sure the, that couples have questions about catering and, and yeah. other options, too. And you talk a little bit about that. Sure. sure people, would be, people would be bringing in their own caterer. Okay. Um, and we do have a suggested list of vendors, right. um, including yourself. Yes. Um, we have a suggested list of vendors. So we have quite a few. I think there's about 12 caterers on there. People are not limited to those caterers. They can bring in someone else if they choose because often, you know, my sister had somebody and they want them to. But there are some restrictions to that that we go over with the couples when they come through. But we try to include pretty much everything. We have accommodations. We have DJs, floors, photographers. So we have a lot of things on our list to try to really make it easy for people. So they're not trying to do that on, all on their own. Right, and you have the loft area too, and, and you can have your entertainment up in the loft during cocktail, during dinner. The music and the speakers are, are above people, so it's, it's right. not right in their face. And, and it also gives them an ability to utilize the space under the loft for other things. So often, like if they have a, a guest book or a gift table or a dessert table, they can put that there as well. So it kind of gives you a way to utilize the space more efficiently. Sure, that makes sense. Can you think of a particular wedding or event where it was very challenging for a couple? And maybe it could be weather or something else that happened that you could just touch upon where 
all the vendors, yourself, or, and other people had to come together to, to make the wedding a success. All right, well, we had an enormous challenge because we had a wedding here the day of the October snowstorm around Halloween. Oh, yes. Years ago. Okay. And um, so I was actually not here. One of my coworkers was working that day, and I got a phone call that the power was out. So I grabbed a boom box that had batteries in it and ran down here, gave that to the DJ. And then fortunately, they had put a lot of Chinese lanterns with uh, battery lights in them. So that lit the barn space, but we had to bring in candles for the bathrooms and the kitchen to accommodate that. But the couple was thrilled. They, they got their wedding. They were happy. They got beautiful pictures out in the snow. Um, mm -hmm. And now we have a generator. So if we have a problem again, we won't have to use batteries, uh, candles in, in the bathrooms and such. But we, you know, we powered through it. We, we made it work. And that's what we try to do here is, is make things work. But I think as an entertainer, too, you really have to, at that point, rely on your skill and talent on the microphone as opposed yeah. to just playing music because anybody, I think, could show up and just play music. Right. And you could have a fun party. But to actually entertain and maybe move to, okay, we'll do bride and groom trivia and, and <laughs> yeah. fun things that everybody could, or fun facts about couples or wedding party. And you could right. make it very creative and, and have all the guests involved with that too as well so yes. it sounds like everybody in, as a team came together to help make this particular wedding in october with a snow who would have figured uh, I know. October when you plan a wedding you don't think that there's going to be a snowstorm with no they think about foliage <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so it sounds like everything was taken care of and they, yeah. they had great pictures out of it oh they did and yeah. we talked afterwards and they were thrilled so you know and it'll be a wedding that people will talk about forever that's for sure absolutely so how do couples know about the web barn where where can they find the information okay well the way most people hear about the web barn is word of mouth but then fortunately we have a very extensive website of the museum so it's web dean stevens.org is the website and the, then there's a link to the wedding section and people like it because we basically include everything we have all of our fees on there we also have a link to our calendar which um, people have told me over and over again is very helpful for them because if they have a specific date in mind, it doesn't make any sense to fall in love with the place and then find out that you can't do the date that you want. So, right. so people like that, that they can check the calendar before they come. And we have a couple of videos on there and we have some pictures on there. So mm -hmm. people can kind of, we had a, a wedding where the couple was actually, they were Broadway performers and we had a spectacular soloist singing at the ceremony and they shared their video with me so people could get an idea from that too of what it's like to have a ceremony here. Awesome. We had a phenomenal wedding back in the spring. It was Andrew and Shannon had their wedding there yeah. and it was so cute. They came in after the introductions for their grand entrance and, and they started dancing on the dance floor to uh, Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars. Oh, and, awesome. and everybody was going crazy. Everyone was surrounding <laughs> them on the dance yeah. floor. And they had such great family and friends. Uh, they had a photographer come up on the loft to look down and take pictures yes. of everybody just putting their hands in the air around the bride and groom and going absolutely crazy. And so, it was, so here is some footage from Andrew and Shannon's wedding for their first dance. Take a look. And we also have some testimonials from some couples. Here's uh, Andrew and Shannon at the end of their night uh, talking about their, their entertainment and the whole evening in general. Take a look. He kept the music flowing. He played all of the songs that we wanted to hear. Um, he took requests from us. He was amazing. He definitely kept the, the energy alive on the dance floor. Jim's the sure. best. Jim's the best. Yes. <laughs> he did an awesome job. We, we had a really good time. What a fun celebration it is. But the Wet Barn is such a, a gem. In, in, in my opinion, a great place for a couple to uh, have their celebration. Everybody is so accommodating there. Couples feel relaxed and they're not stressed out because everything is taken care of. Uh, their event flows very smoothly when they're working with a good team of vendors. Is there another uh, way to contact you directly? or is that um, I, I can give you a phone number. It's 860-690-0855 and that will get directly to me. Very good. Again. <laughs> so for any couples who are looking for a venue, 
get in contact with Katie at the Web Barn. Thanks so much, Katie, for coming on the show. We'll see you next time. All right. Great. Thank you. Bye now. Bye.